Hey everyone, and welcome back to another under $5 eShop deals video. Where each and every week we go through the Nintendo Switch eShop and we pick out which are the best games to be picking up if you're on a budget. And let me tell you that this week's list is quite amazing because we're still living with the fallout from the Nintendo Direct sale. Just a quick mention in case you're new to the channel, I don't go over the deals that were mentioned in last week's video. To make sure you're not missing out on any great opportunities, you can always check out that video that will be linked up above after this one. Also, don't forget to drop your comment down below in the video because you're automatically entered for a $5 eShop gift card giveaway. All you need to do to find out if you won is tune into the regular eShop deals video on the weekend. Now yet again this week we've got close to 30 deals to go over, so let's not waste any more time and get started. Just don't forget that if you do like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Now our first deal for this week is a returning favorite of mine with the Gunman Clive HD collection that is 55% off, dropping the price to $2.24. Now this might not be its lowest price ever, but we're only about 25 cents off and you're getting two amazing run and gun platformers that are really, really testaments to how great some of the 3DS indies were. On top of it, they're ported to the Switch in full HD, and if you like some platforming Mega Man type action with an out there hand-drawn art style, well, you know what? Gunman Clive is an amazing pickup for this week. Now, next on the list, we have a game at a lowest ever price with Hell Warders now being 85% off for only once again $2.24. Now, this game is a pretty unique mashup, which basically mixes a third person action RPG with tower defense gameplay. Now, I'll be honest with you, if you watch some early reviews on the game, unfortunately, the performance on the Switch wasn't the best of all time. However, the developer has patched up the game quite a bit, and I've got to say that its current state, it is tons of fun, especially when you're only picking it up for $2.24. This one is definitely worth taking a chance on. Now, next, we have a complete series that this week is 50% off. I mentioned in the weekend video, but all the Doom games are 50% off except Doom Eternal, and a lot of them are making it under the $5 mark. This is one of my favorite pickups on the budget end with Doom 64 at $2.49. Now basically this week at 50% off, whether it be Doom, Doom 2, Doom 64, or even Doom 3 at $4.99, all of these games are great retro fun. Of course, if you want to pick up the whole package in one fell swoop, it doesn't fit under the $5 mark, but you do have the Doom Slayers collection at $29.99 and you get Doom 2016 with all these retro entries. But if not, if you're just going to pick up one or two, I would say the best ones are Doom 64 at 249 or Doom 3 at 499. Now next on the list, we have another awesome retro game on sale this week with Haunted Halloween 86 that is currently 70% off, dropping it to 299. Haunted Halloween is a 2D retro brawler, and it is a true retro game, meaning that it actually limits itself to the limitations of the NES and could actually fit onto an NES cartridge. What's great about this game is it actually, however, brings in some modern movements to the 2D retro brawler, almost mixing in Street Fighter-like moves for the different attacks. Fair warning here, this game does become quite difficult towards the end, so if you're looking for a laid-back brawler, this is maybe not the best pickup, but if you're in for a challenge, it is a definite great game to be picking up. Now next we have another series that is completely on sale and two of the entries are making it under the $5 mark. We have both Dragon Quest 1 and 2 that are 35% off with $3.24 for the first one and $4.21 for the second. Now both these games are some of the actual original JRPGs to ever exist. If you want to see where JRPGs actually started out, the Dragon Quest series along with the Final Fantasy series is a great place to start. Now these are the updated visuals from the mobile ports of the game. Some people would have preferred the originals, but nonetheless, if you want the feel of the original RPGs, they both are very honest to the original nonetheless. Fair warning, these are very old and retro games. If you're not into retro gamings, these probably won't be the best pickup for you this week. Now next we have another returning favorite of mine with Metaloid Origin that is still 50% off at $3.49. Now this is another 2D run and gun platforming shooter, very much along the lines of the feelings of a Mega Man game once again. 
However, this game really does its own thing, with more of a linear level type design. However, at the same time, it has some really interesting upgrade mechanics. And if you're worried about the difficulty of some Mega Man type games, well, the fun part about this one is that if you grind out the levels enough, you'll eventually be able to power up enough to make it through any point of the game. Now, next on our list, we have Double Dragon 4 that is currently 49% off, knocking the price down to $3.50. Now, Double Dragon 4 is the only game making it onto this list on its own, because for every other game, you're better off picking up the Double Dragon bundle at only $10 for all 18 games. However, Double Dragon 4 isn't part of that bundle, and if you're into retro gaming, it is a true revival and true sequel to Double Dragon 2. Honestly, if you love retro gaming, you definitely have to give this one a try. Fair warning though, it is done with a true retro style once again, so if you're not into that style of game, be careful with this one. Now next on our list, we have an amazing entry at a brand new low price, with this War of Mine 91% off for $3.59, and this game is actually going to be my pick of the week. Now this game is a quite unique survival game, where you're trying to survive in a war-torn city, but you're not a highly trained soldier, you're just regular people. You'll have a lot of choices to make that will sometimes tear your conscience apart, and honestly this game is so amazing, it even became required studies in certain countries. Basically, if you want one of the most original and touching experiences, this war of mine has to be a definite pickup. Fair warning though, some of the scenes can get quite graphic, so if you have a faint heart, be careful with this one, but if not, it is an amazing game. Now next on the list, we have Raging Justice that is still 75% off, dropping the price to only $3.74. Now is Raging Justice the best beat-em-up on the Switch? Definitely not, but when you can get it like today at 75% off for only $3.74, if you're a fan of beat-em-ups, it is definitely worth a pickup in my book. It is still tons of fun to beat through the levels and basically play as the different characters. On top of it, if you have a friend to play with, it has a great co-op option. Now next, we have yet another amazing survival game that is on sale this week, which sheltered at 75% off for $3.74. Now it's odd to see this game on sale at the same time as this war of mine because they both focus around a survival type game where you're trying to protect family members and loved ones. However, Sheltered I would say has a much less graphic approach and much more time management feel to the gameplay. Overall, if the gut-wrenching moments in this war of mine sound like too much to take, Sheltered is a nice other option that is a little less graphic in its presentation. Now next we have a game that came very close to being pick of the week with Mighty Gunvolt Burst at 60% off dropping the price to only $3.99. Now if you follow the channel you know that I am a huge Mega Man fan and a lot of games try to copy the gameplay style but few have done it as well as Mighty Gunvolt Burst. And it's crazy to think that these are the same characters as failed in Mighty No. 9, but in this retro styled run and gun platformer, they actually shine almost as much as Mega Man himself. If you need any more convincing, there's actually a free downloadable demo for this game. Trust me, if you need to invest $3.99 in a game for this week, this is another amazing pickup. Now next, still at that price point of $3.99 because it is 80% off, we have Planet Alpha. Now here we have another 2D action platformer, however this time with almost 3D animated backgrounds. And if you're looking for a truly visually beautiful platformer for this week that at the same time has some really solid gameplay, I would say that Planet Alpha should be a game that you definitely give a whirl. And at only $3.99, once again, it is an amazing pickup for this week. On top of it, once again, free downloadable demo available for this one as well. Now next on the list we have a returning shoot 'em up with Ghost Blade HD that is back to 70% off for $4.49. Now I say pretty much every time this game is on sale, it's an amazing game to pick up when it's on sale. At its full price of $15, there are probably better options on the eShop, but when you get it sub $5, like today, for its amazing visuals and awesome bullet hell action, Ghost Blade HD becomes an excellent pickup for anyone who's a fan of shoot 'em ups. Now next, still at $4.49, we have Omega Strike that is also back to 70% off. 
Now, Omega Strike is once again a run and gun shooter, however, this time with a Metroidvania design. You also have to switch between three playable characters, all with their own abilities and different characteristics. Overall, if you're looking for a nice short Metroidvania, Omega Strike is a great pickup this week since it's on sale at only $4.49. Now, we're finally at the $4.99 price point, and I'm just going to let you guys know this week, the $4.99 price point is stacked. We have a ton of games at this price point, but all of them are amazing pickups. And we're starting right away with Blaster Master Zero. Both the first and second entries are 50% off for only $4.99. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Blaster Master series, it is the reinvention of an NES classic series that mixed 2D platforming with top-down shooting. Overall, these are some of the best 2D platformers you can get on the Nintendo Switch. And even the third one is on sale this week. However, it busted the $5 price point, so it won't be included on this list, but was on the weekend list. Now, next on the list, we have another game that was also mentioned on the weekend with Bloodstained Curse of the Moon at 50% off, once again, only $4.99. Now, this is a game that is actually almost a direct spiritual successor to Castlevania 3, even using the same mechanic of swapping between three playable characters. Basically, if you were ever a fan of Castlevania and you wished we would have gotten a true sequel to Castlevania 3, well, look no further, we have the real thing right here in Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Now, while we're on the topic of Castlevania, our next entry is another amazing pickup in that series, with the Castlevania Anniversary Collection being 75% off, only $4.99. Basically, if you ever wanted to experience the early history of Castlevania, you've got eight of the best early games in the series. My personal favorites are Castlevania, Castlevania 3, Super Castlevania 4, and Castlevania Bloodlines. Heck, you've even got Kid Dracula that theoretically was never released in English before this package. Basically, at $4.99, if you're a fan of retro gaming, this is one of the best value packages you can pick up for this week. Now next, we jump into another amazing retro collection with the Contra Anniversary Collection also at 75% off, once again, only $4.99. Now, everything I just said about the Castlevania collection is once again through here. This time you're getting 10 excellent entries, which are probably actually the best Contra games of all time. With the original Contra, Super Contra, Contra 3, and even the Japanese variants, Probotector. On top of it, most of these games are offering co-op options, so if you're looking for amazing retro co-op fun, look no further than this collection. Now for our next entry, we're still at that $4.99 price point because it is 70% off with Don't Starve, the Nintendo Switch edition. Now Don't Starve is yet another survival game, but don't be fooled by the cartoon-like graphics. This is probably one of the most difficult survival games I've ever played so far. So once again, if you're looking for a challenge, if you love those open world survival type games, well Don't Starve is an excellent entry for this week. On top of it, it comes with the DLC included. It is an excellent value package at only $4.99. Now next, we have probably what is our best entry for RPG fans for this week with Evil Land that is finally back to its 75% off at once again only $4.99. Now, don't be fooled, this is actually a game collection. You have both Evil Land 1 and 2 included. And I'm going to tell you right away, Evil Land 2 is definitely the star of this package. Because Evil Land 1 is a very short game. But basically, it was almost a trial concept for what Evil Land 2 perfected. Basically, you're part playing through all the different RPG styles and the game evolves as you go through the storyline, starting with a turn-based old-school RPG, evolving all the way to a more modern action RPG. If you are a fan of this type of game and you haven't tried Evil Land yet, at $5, this collection is a total steal. Now, next on the list, we have one of the wackiest shoot 'em ups available on the Switch that I'm so glad is back on sale with Freedom Finger at 66% off, once again, still at $4.99. Now, if you like shoot 'em ups with an over the top design, definitely look at picking up Freedom Finger for this week. As the title suggests, the point of this game is to give the finger to all your enemies. But truly, the designs in the enemies and all the levels is really great in this game. And on top of it, it has one of the best soundtracks in modern shoot-em-ups. 
overall, if you're looking for something different from a Shuno for this week, Freedom Finger is one of your best pickups. Now next, we have Mark of the Ninja Remastered that is also back to 75% off, once again only $4.99. Now this is another 2D action platformer, where as the title suggests, I think you already guessed it, you're playing as a ninja. The original thing here is all of it is based around stealth based combat. And it's crazy to think that you actually get an experience that is very close to a 2D Metal Gear Solid for under $5. Now our before last entry is a regular on the series here with the Onakin and Odalis bundle once again being 75% off only $4.99 for both games. Now, if you're a regular on this channel, this collection is nothing new. You see it on a regular basis because you're getting two great 2D action retro platformers. One with a Castlevania design with RPG elements thrown in. The other one, a blend of almost Ninja Gaiden and Strider. Basically, once again, if you're a fan of retro style action platformers, at $5, this collection is a great pickup. Now our last, but definitely not least game once again, is another game that came very close to being my pick of the week, with Yoku's Island Express that is once again 75% off, dropping the price to only $4.99. Now if you're looking for the best Metroidvania to pick up at under $5, it's right here in Yoku's Island Express, and it's probably one of the best Metroidvanias to pick up at any price point. Now it has a really original design where you're playing as a bug, moving a ball around with pinball-like mechanics. It sounds crazy, but it works fantastically. And ultimately, I think it's one of the most underrated games on the Switch. Now if you need any more convincing for yourself, this one also has a free downloadable demo. You can give it a try for yourself, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. So that was pretty much it for our under $5 eShop deals list for this week. Now, I couldn't wait to make this video all week because I truly, when I looked at the list, think it is ultimately the best under $5 list we've had all year so far. And if you only have $5 to spend on the eShop, you have over 20 choices that are all amazing pickups. Now, as usual, I need to take a couple of seconds to really thank the channel supporters. They helped the channel grow in a major way and I appreciate their help so much. And lastly, on the way out, don't forget that if you did like the content, to please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and hit that notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.